Next speaker comes from uh, China, Li Song, and he's going to talk about the study of the groundwater recharge based on south to north water diversion project in Hutu River Alluvial Plain in North China. Hello, thanks. Six minutes, please. Yeah, thanks. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, this is Ya Song Li from the Institution of Hydrology and Environmental Geological Science in China. Uh, uh, which belongs to the China Geological Survey, or CGS. Today I will show you some information about the moor in North China. It's a typical site in the Hutu River, a level plain. I think some of you maybe know the North China Plain. It's a typical region of human nature interaction place. Because of, because of the long term of the overexploration in this place, there exist several of the shallow groundwater depression cones in this place. Uh, along the Taihan Mountain in, uh, in the west of this uh, big plain. You can see the, you know, yeah, the cone table dropped very fast. And one of the cones located in the Hutu River and River Plain. In this place, uh, more than 75% of the water supply depends on the groundwater, uh, uh, in including the agricultural use and the industry and the domestic use. Just because of you know the population is placed increasing and the demand for the agricultural products and the uh, industry products demand is increasing, so all of them depends on the groundwater supply. But it's not enough. So groundwater over exploration in this place is over 30 years, and the Hutu River used to be the main groundwater source, the recharge source in this place. But everything was changed in the. Uh, 1970s, because there are two super walls built upstream. So the Hutu River uh, dried up year by year. And at the same time, the perception uh, decreased. So the groundwater table or the groundwater depths uh, increased uh, uh, hugely, huge, because um, it's changed from the you know, past. The groundwater depth is around 10 meters. Now it's around more than uh, 30 meters. So we called it the Seek Bordas Zone, and it's filled with sand, so it could provide abundant storage place for the water. But the most important thing is where the water come from. We have space, but we didn't have water. So now, if some of you know that the south to north division channel, its projects uh, in China is very huge, uh, projects is move or deliver the water from south China to north China. So these projects, uh, provide us the opportunity to do this more work in North China Plain. And the China government decided to do this work uh, to decide to release some water from the South North Division projects to Hutu River, begun uh, from uh, last September last year and uh, until January this year. So it's, amount, it's around the total amount is 330 million cubic meters. It's a large mountain water. And you can see the red circle is the Hutu River and uh, the yellow line, the link of the uh, south to north division channel and the Hutu River. So the Hutu River, you know, it dried up for uh, more than 30 years, but now it's filled with water again. Around 10 years ago, there is a test held by an institution, uh, Hebei Province, and they made that the recharge rate ratio is around 97% uh, in this place, so it means that it's very, very good place to do the more in this place. And in this period, we did the five days, per five days, we did the monitoring of the water table and uh, the chemistry, groundwater chemistry. We did several times of ground chemistry uh, test. Around, it's around maybe uh, five to seven meters rise uh, during this period. It's very good information. And we can find that the coverage of the uh, the coverage uh, area caused by the moor is increasing, uh, is increasing, and until the January of this year. And we can find that it's uh, until January this year it's around 1,421 square kilometers was coverage by the moor projects. And the longest distance affected by the moor is uh, worth uh, 7.2 kilometers. 
So uh, we can see that Hu Tu River Plain in North China meets the demand for more and has the recharge pass. South North Water Division projects provided the water source and a breeze change was catched during September 2018 to January 2019. And Hutu River plains were very suitable for groundwater recharge management in North China. So it just, it, it's an easy issue, you know, the information about the projects because lots of the work is undergoing. And uh, you can see my email, so if you have interest in with these projects, uh, please let me know. We can do it well together in the future. Thanks. Thank you very much for a very interesting presentation. Is there any question? Yeah. Uh, next presentation. Uh, I wonder why you concluded that uh, Hutu River is very suitable for managed aquifer charge in China. Uh, because we made, you know, I made test 10 years ago is to have a very, very uh, quick uh, ratio for the groundwater for the water from surface water in, in recharge to the ground to the groundwater. It's very fast, and we have a very very you know thick water so we have abundant space to receive the water. So I think it's a better place in China. Thank you. Any other? Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you.